Hey there, it's Laura Lee, and we are looking at the question of how to actually add MailChimp signup form to the Facebook page. Um, if you go into your MailChimp account and you just type in um, Facebook, if you type in Facebook opt-in or Facebook signup um, into the MailChimp search bar, it will pull this up for you right away. So there's some pretty basic steps here. You need to link your MailChimp account to your Facebook account, which is that same kind of thing that we do with a lot of, um, hold on a minute, I'm going to go back and show you that, um, you know, where you need to click on approval so that the um, actual MailChimp can communicate. Let's, I'll show you the screenshot so you'll know what I mean. So you're going to go to integrations and you'll connect your Facebook and your MailChimp together. You'll click login and then you'll see this, which is probably familiar for you if you've um, linked any other app to Facebook so it kind of you're giving permission and um, and then you so just follow these those simple steps steps to number eight and then um, come back here and follow the rest of the steps that they're giving you and I might not go through everything on this but I will show you so if you're on your account and you choose integrations right there whoops just took me to a new page. I didn't want to go to Mandrel. <laughs> um, oh, I keep clicking on things. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, it looks like mine is already connected. So if I choose this again, it's probably going to make a mess. I'm not going to do that. But um, what I will do is I'll go over to Facebook and um, my business account or my Facebook page. And, um, and I'll show you how to add that little image so that you don't have, you may already have connected it, um, but there's a place to go that you want to actually make it look like a little button. And I will show you, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, um, how to put a button up like this, because that's ultimately what I've done with mine. So I think, hold on a second, I may not be in... Oh, I must be in as my manager role. Alright, I think that actually takes me through, yeah, that does take me through right to the opt-in, which is what I want. I probably should update that. That looks very boring. Um, but what I want to do, sorry, this is slow. What I want to do is go in and actually edit that little one right there. Okay, yeah, so if you choose your drop down menu and then you um, hover over here, you'll see an edit. And this is where you can actually change the, um, the image. You can move these around to a different order. I'm going to click edit settings because I think that's where it is. No, that's just the name of it. Hold on a minute. Where's the image? Um, edit settings, link to this tab. No, that can't be right. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to pause this for just a quick second and figure out where it is. Just a moment. Okay, I'm back. You probably didn't even know I was gone. <laughs> so what I did was I made sure that I was logged in as, um, actually as admin. I don't know if that makes a huge difference or not, but I did that. And then I came back and when I come back to look at the video later, I may actually see that this option was here all along and I somehow missed it. So it's pretty subtle. Um, I do remember seeing um, where I could edit this. And if this little button was there before, then that's all you need to do. You don't need to jump through to the extra hoops. Just click on, um, you might actually just be uh, editing it for the first time. So let's see, I'll go back to um, Twitter because I don't have a custom one there. I'll click this and edit settings. You'll s oh same thing. There's nothing there. So if I just click change, it's not going to be any. Oh, there's the actual Twitter image. Hover over it, click edit, and then just choose a file. So the file needs to be smaller than five megabytes, and you want to make sure that the file size is 111 pixels by 74 pixels. And if you do that, it should be no problem. You'll just put it into that place and. Um, and then save it and it's going to be good to go. And that should be about it.
So once you've synchronized your um, Facebook, you've brought it, or your MailChimp, you've brought it over to here, then it's going to have a strange little MailChimp image on it, which you probably won't like. And um, you can upload your own graphic so that it goes into this spot. And then you can also edit and move them around to a different spot if you want it to be, you know, closer to the front or something. And that's about it. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.